Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode right here on V-City. My name is Peter Ojum and today I'm going to be talking about something that came to my mind, alright? I was thinking, I was thinking about the fact that one, one major thing I don't like about school, and it's very simple. You know how in middle school or in high school, you, see, you seem to do really well in school. It's very simple, everything's nice, you're, 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 you're succeeding, you're not studying as much sometimes depending on the school you went to. And then all of a sudden you get into university and you life becomes tougher. I know university is much more, you know, delicate and there's a lot more things attached to being a college student. But when you think about it, because a lot of students who were naturally more intelligent than others in elementary all the way to high school, because they had that that ease of understanding things and not studying they get to a point where like in university where things now everyone's on a level plane you can you know it's it's tougher it's not the same method and they have to now study and they don't know how to study and um, I think that's one thing that contributes to a lot of people a lot of people knowing that feeling like they were intelligent before but having their egos shattered when they don't get good grades in a university. Like the first year, you know, you're used to getting very good grades and then you do your university degree and then you start getting maybe a C or, or even a B and you're shocked, you're surprised as to like, how did this happen to me? You know, how did I come about not doing well? And I think it's just, aside the fact that you're overconfident, there's the aspect where it's like, you don't know how to study. You've just been doing it easily your whole life. You're just used to, to being that smart kid in class and not needing to study. So, my question is, how did you handle that embarrassment? I'm assuming that you did really well in high school and you got into college or university and it became tough and then you, you got to realize that you're not the smartest kid in the room anymore. How did you handle that, that, uh, that what's the word? How did you handle that feeling of being up here and now you're here. You're like, no more the smartest kid in the room. It's n you just don't wake up and go to a test or a quiz or an exam. You actually have to study. Things like that. How did it happen? And were you able to come back up? If so, how did you get back up there? Because there are some kids who go to college and they just do really well. But how did they do it? That's what I want to find out. Uh, another thing about college is that you have to understand that some people don't have the money you know, and you become an adult, you stay by yourself. So it's not the same thing anymore. You're cooking, so you're definitely more distracted than you were in high school. Those are a couple of things to think about. I just want to know what to tell my kids when I when I have kids. Like how, you know, talk to them and see how I can make sure that their college life is easier. Because I've been to, I was talking to a friend yesterday, and she's American, uh, going to college here in the United States, and. She got a job and she's happy about the job. Then I asked her, what about your, uh, you said you wanted some kind of um, student loans and you wanted to pay it off with your job. How are you doing that now? And she said, oh, she doesn't want to think about it. Um, she's already in debt. I'm like, you're not in debt. This is, the f you're, this is your first year in college. And she said that, yeah, it's her first year in college. She hasn't even applied for the loans, but she knows she's in debt because her parents can't pay for it. And I started thinking like, it's crazy how much money we have to spend to go to school and planning ahead like right now I'm already thinking how do I make sure my kids don't ever have to like take out student loans um, before she graduates before that my friend graduates she's gonna be a, at least maybe at least a hundred thousand dollars in debt with the school she's going to so and then she has to pay it off if she doesn't get a good job or something or, or gets uh, some kind of pardon I don't know she's not gonna be able to pay it off for a while and her parents are the one who told her to go into that debt she told her parents she doesn't want to go to school because of the debts but I understand to see that's a dilemma I feel like I'm not in any place to make a decision for her but I can understand why she didn't want to go to school because she has to incur all this debt and her parents are like you know you go it's good for your education so I don't know it's it's interesting how education works today compared to how it was before um, one final thing is my mom's coming now <laughs> uh, let's see where she's at 
You know, the final interesting thing is that a lot of people know that um, your undergraduate degree is not enough anymore. You need to have more than that. You need to have a master's now. You need to go do a PhD sometimes to get a very good paying job that can pay off those student loans, which means you have to get into more student debt. Anyway, I'm finishing my video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.